All right, issue 113. I have the air conditioner turned off, so it shouldn't be a problem, this issue. Sorry about the noise in the previous uh, video for those two issues. When I was uh, throwing the video up for YouTube, it was pretty bad. Pretty loud. Pretty, pretty, pretty loud. Okay. Finally, we're getting to the reactor drum. Looks like we have a, a light kit here to go in there. We're not going to be able to fit these yet, but uh, this is the piece that eventually, like, I can either have the reactor chamber. Remember way back when? These things have just been sitting in a box, this and, and Mr. Fusion. So you can either have old school where you have to put the, put the plutonium in, or what I like about it, I've kind of peeked ahead on the later issues, like the last issue. You can pull this off, actually it'd be on this drum, pull that off and you can actually, you know, fit your your Mr. Fusion in place. So I just wanted to get those out. I'm sitting over here for a bit for inspiration. Get this stuff done. Yes, sir. Open up this package. Come on now. Issue 113. Okay. Reactor drum. Alright, so we got more of this substandard light filament here light rope. You know, it's not even, uh, doesn't even look like proper fiber optics, so I'm sure the light that comes out of this will be insignificant at best. But there is a slot here. We gotta feed the ropes down through. Or the rope ends down through. Something like that. And Looks like we're going to be doing the standard tape the light bulb up against it situation. Let's get the tape ready. And uh, this this drum, I don't know, it's kind of got me excited to get the rest of this done. There's going to be a ton of fiddly little bits that have to go onto this. They really stretched out these last issues to get that money and it still didn't work out for Eagle Moss. Those of you who don't know, they have, as far as I know, have gone under. We're all in a holding pattern. Luckily I have all my kits, all my issues for the remaining build, but some people are not as fortunate. I'm going to stick the, these two ends of the light rope on the tape first so that I can get this bulb, and you want the bulb right up against as best you can, right up against these two ends of the light rope give it its best chance wrap the tape around it anyway hopefully another company picks them up, I, I'll probably say that in all my remaining vids in case you're just tuning in now but if you are just tuned in now, there's no way for you to order these kits currently because Eagle Moss is under. There are other Partworks model companies out there that I've heard are better. I'm, I'm just, I would just be real hesitant myself to try anymore. Maybe I will in the future. Never say never because I'm a sucker that way. But it's just if I get maybe all of everything at once, then maybe. But this thing where this one here is drawn out for me for over three years. The last uh, six months were on me because I had all the issues and that turned out to be a blessing. But I started this pretty close to when they, I don't know when they first came out with this, but I started around then. Feeding this light rope around and it's not really wanting to stay in the grooves. I get this light rope fit. There's a groove going around this drum just doesn't want to stay in place. Let's keep popping out. So I think maybe that's what this other disc is for. Let's go on top, hold this thing down, Let's flip the page. Yep, 
and we do have BP screw. Get one of these ready. There we go. Got it fed down, held down. Fed down around, held down. Okay. Oh my gosh, magnetic screwdriver end. This is one thing about this kit is it's difficult to hold all these parts and pieces in place and get your screwdriver loaded up in position. Switch to a bigger screwdriver. Ooh, did I just break that? Shit. Be very careful when you're screwing this on because I heard it crack. I heard mine crack. I stopped. I think I might be okay. Worst case scenario, you'd have to dollop some glue under there. But looks like I am okay. It's being held down. We are going to try to fiddle with it till it breaks, I guess. All right, and uh, that's it. That part's done. Okay, wait a minute. We got to hold this cable down now. We should have a little tiny one of these little tiny cable holders, plastic. I'm going to do an IP, and they want this wrapped something like this, apparently. show you this at the end what it looks like up close because I'm sure my sausage fingers are in the way that screwdriver end is not holding up well Okay, there we go. That's that's okay. It's about as good as that's gonna get right there. Okay, there it is. Cable is held down in place, and then we have the cover with the light rope going around. Should give a glow. There we go. See, all that's covered up, but now whenever it's lit up, it should have a glow coming out around there. And uh, looks like if Mr. Fusion is in place, I don't know how much of a glow you're going to get. Not really going to get that glow unless you open Mr. Fusion, then you get some type of glow through there. So that's kind of cool. And that is interchangeable. I like that. It's just going to set in place later. That's it. I had just like really milking this, uh, talking about this Back to the Future ride. Wow, they really milked us out in these issues. Next up, a bunch of fiddly bits that I think are going to go around this, perhaps. That'll be fun. Stay tuned. But for now, issue 113 is done. That's the vid. Boom.